so for marker structure breaks, I use the same indicator. It's the uh, nephew Sam uh, marker structure, break of structure, change of character, marker structure breaks. So I just change the settings to market structure break. <clears throat> so this one, I just have it to market structure break. And this is the one I pay attention to the most versus the order blocks and uh, the supply and demand zones. Uh, supply and demand zones, I like to just write the resistance on the weekly. But uh, with the market structure breaks, these I feel like are more respected. And, uh, and you wanna get, you could get either the, the breakout or the resumption from the retest but uh, you don't want to go for the retest just because the retest it's it's basically the second falling knife you just don't know if it's gonna fail or because it's it's a it's the possibility of a trend reversal and if you're going for mean reversion trading you know this is kind of like the the best uh, you know for beginning the re a reversal trade and trading reversals, but, but um, yeah, usually when um, the, they're naked, they're really good magnets too, where price would want to go back to um, if were to break all the structure on the way towards it, all the supply got eaten up or demand. So that's pretty much it. I like to use the weekly in H4. Um, you know, interesting things is like the oil's got an untested weekly uh, market structure break, uh, which it could head to probably 2024 or this uh, 2023 or 2022. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of unknowable until it actually gets there. But um, you know, you, you could make some uh, best guesses. But um, yeah, they're really good uh, as far as like, uh, places to guess the, of where a bottom would be. So one interesting one was uh, this naked weekly, uh, I guess it's naked uh, for the most part, but it retested right there on the um, market structure break and it held. And um, you know, we, we came back and we retested on this. Uh, this one was kind of naked in some way, I think. Uh, yeah, um, the weekly, this was uh, the breakout and it, we didn't really retest it. So um, this was a great magnet for retesting. And then uh, this one was the breaker uh, so, and then we came back into it. So, uh, you know, it was a little uncertain whether this would be the bottom, but it looked like it, uh, it held really well. But um, yeah, as far as like time frames, weekly H4, the, the main ones I like. Um, and I like to build positions starting with the H4 and then uh, with every mark H4 breaker uh, in the direction I want, um, we'll be building the position. Obviously the long-term um, you know, bias would be based upon the, the break of uh, the most recent one. So oil, technically the bias is to the downside because we had a nice break to the downside. So um, it's hard to believe that we're at the bottom uh, but when, we won't know until a retest and a resumption off of it. But um, yeah, that, that's kind of it. We broke the H4 and the weekly in this example for West Texas oil crew. But uh, that's market structure breaks.